What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Tom Walters and I am an orthopedic physical therapist. In today's video, we'll be looking at four exercises for shoulder pain on the outside of the shoulder that might travel down the side of the arm. In most cases, this has to do with one of our rotator cuff muscles and its tendon, a muscle called supraspinatus that runs up here on the top of the shoulder and attaches on the outside of the shoulder. So if you've got pain there, maybe when reaching with your arm, then these will be exercises for you. With supraspinatus pain, usually what happens is people will experience pain when reaching away from their body and overhead. So if you've got that issue right now, then the first exercise we're gonna start with is an active assisted range of motion exercise. This is gonna help with your mobility, but allow you to do it in a way where you're not creating more pain. So if you can just naturally right now lift your arm through full range of motion with minimal pain, then you can skip this exercise and go to the next three. But if you have pain and difficulty lifting your arm on its own without weight, then this will be a good exercise for you to start with. So you need some sort of tool like a golf club, a broomstick, a baseball bat, something at home that you can use to help with your shoulder range of motion. What you're gonna do, I'm gonna pretend like my right arm has the symptoms in all these exercises. I'm gonna hold this dowel or tool with my thumb up. So you can see my right arm is set so that my thumb is up. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna reach up into shoulder flexion and I'm gonna use my healthy arm, the one non-painful arm, to push on the stick to help lift my right arm, the painful side, up overhead. So from here, I'm using the other arm to help lift the painful arm. Now this is called active assisted range of motion because I wanna do some of the work with my painful arm, but some of the work with the non-painful. So it's an active assisted, full active range of motion is when I can do it just with the painful arm alone. Full passive range of motion would be if I use my non-painful arm to do all of the work. So what I want you to do is find the level that you can accomplish. So part of the work with the other arm, part with the painful arm, just see what amount you can do with your painful arm and still go through full range of motion. If you have to stop a little early because of pain, that's okay. Just work it each day and see how far you can go. With a mobility exercise like this, I want you to try and do it four to five times a day and go through 10 to 15 repetitions. We don't wanna lose mobility in the shoulder joint. Oftentimes when people have rotator cuff problems, they'll just protect their shoulder or put it in a sling, and then you're more likely to develop something like frozen shoulder. So you wanna keep that mobility going uh, so you don't lose range of motion. Okay, so that's our first exercise, an active assisted shoulder flexion drill. The next exercise is a two-way isometric exercise. This, an isometric is one where we're going to make the rotator cuff contract, but there will be no movement. This is also a really good exercise to start with if your symptoms are more acute and uh, you're having a lot of pain right now. So with this first one, <clears throat> again, this will be a two-way isometric. The first one, I'm gonna bend my elbow to about 90 degrees. It's best to do these in a doorway. It can just work well. So I'm gonna elbow at 90 degrees, out just a little bit from my side. You can also roll up a hand towel and put it here to create a little bit of space. Now what I'm gonna do is push the back of my hand into the doorway like I'm trying to turn my arm out. That's called external rotation, and it's gonna help activate our rotator cuff muscles and their tendons. So what I wanna do here is push out into the doorway. So I'm gonna squeeze those muscles and push with moderate to heavy resistance. This may create a little bit of discomfort in your supraspinatus, but that's okay. As long as it's kinda of in the three out of four out of 10 range, you don't really wanna go above that. So just push as hard as you can and what you're gonna do is hold for around 30 to 45 seconds, and we're gonna do five repetitions like this. So you can spread these repetitions throughout the day. Uh, again, you're shooting for five, so throughout the day you're gonna hold like that and then give it a little break. Sometimes I like to do two or three of them together, so then I'm gonna do another one and push in and hold. So isometrics, not only do they help build strength, but they've been shown in the research to help reduce tendon pain. Okay, so that's the first one, an external rotation movement. The next one is abduction. So for this one, I'm gonna to stand to the side. This one's gonna be a little bit more specific to supraspinatus. Our supraspinatus muscle helps with abduction along with our deltoid. So here, I'm gonna push the back of my hand into the wall again, and I'm just gonna push out like I'm trying to lift my arm up. So out away from my side is abduction. Again, think about holding for 30 to 45 seconds. And you may feel some of that discomfort up on the side of the shoulder. That's okay, again, as long as it's mild. Okay, so those are our next two exercises, an external rotation and abduction isometric. For the third exercise, we will now start strengthening our rotator cuff. I'm going to do uh, an exercise called sideline external rotation. 
You can also do this in standing with a band. A lot of people are familiar with that one. So if you've got a resistance band, you can do this in standing as well. The nice thing about the side lying one is that you can use a dumbbell to do it or anything at home that's got a little bit of weight to it. It could be a water bottle that's filled up, a shoe, a can of whatever uh, that you've got. So just um, find a weight that's gonna be challenging for you, but again, doesn't go past that three out of four, 10 range. So what I'm gonna do, if my right arm has the symptoms, I'm gonna lay on the opposite side, so I'm gonna lie down on my left side. I'm gonna take a small towel roll and roll it up and put it between my elbow and my side. And then I'm gonna work on external rotation. So I'm gonna take my dumbbell, move through full range of motion, up to where my shoulder stops, and then down nice and slow, a really nice, slow, eccentric contraction and then back up. Now don't go up and rotate your whole body, it's just a shoulder movement, so go just as far as you can. And since this is a strengthening exercise, we're gonna go for three sets of around, somewhere in the eight to 15 repetition range. The key is to find a weight that's challenging, doesn't create more than three or four out of 10 pain, but allows you to get fatigued uh, within somewhere around that kind of eight to 15 repetition range. When you've finished a set, you can set it down and rest for 30 seconds. This is an exercise that you can do every day as long as your pain doesn't flare up or you can switch to every other day. Okay, so that is our third exercise, side lying external rotation. For the last exercise, we are gonna strengthen the rotator cuff again. This will be the most challenging exercise in all, so only do this one when you can again perform it with mild pain, no more than that. We're gonna need a dumbbell again or something that's an appropriate weight uh, for your current capabilities. This is called scaption. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stand, you can do this with both arms as well. I'm gonna take my dumbbell and I'm gonna come up and make sort of a V with my arms. So if I'm only doing the painful arm, just think about that V kind of position. I'm not coming up to the front, and I'm not going up to, out to the side, I'm going up kind of in between the two at a 45 degree angle. That is called the scaption plane. And we're gonna do it with our thumb up. So sometimes this is called the full can position the empty can position would be thumb down, which we don't wanna do. So I'm gonna go thumb up, raise up to about shoulder level, and then back down nice and slow. Like the last exercise, I'm gonna go for three sets of somewhere between eight to 15 repetitions, just moving nice and slow. If you feel pain, more intense pain on the outside of your shoulder, just drop the weight. I've got seven and a half pounds here, but you might only need a pound, two pounds, three pounds. Just pick the appropriate weight and see if you can increase your strength over time. Okay, so that is our last exercise for supraspinatus, which is called loaded scaption. Thanks for checking out today's video. I hope the exercises help you. Just wanna mention my book is available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. It has rehab programs for the most common conditions and each body region has its own chapter. The first program in the shoulder chapter is a rotator cuff program. So this program starts on page 187. It's gonna describe the condition, talk about common symptoms, shoulder impingement, which this condition is often called. And then it's gonna take you through a three-phase program showing all the exercises we would prescribe in physical therapy and pictures of me doing all the exercises. So the programs in my book are gonna be more comprehensive than a YouTube video. It allows me to kind of show all the exercises we would prescribe in physical therapy. So if you'd like to have a resource at home that allows you to do your own rehab, I will put a link for the book down in the description. Thanks again for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one, bye.